Hi everyone and welcome to codingzest.com. Guys, in this Flutter tutorial, we will be talking about rows and columns in Flutter. So as you can see here on the screen, we have two sections. The first one is row and column. So let me take, uh, uh, tell you about uh, the row first. Okay. So in your Flutter application, if you want to uh, put your widgets or your UI uh, uh, like horizontally, so you uh, you can use the row. Uh, let me draw some buttons here so let's suppose this is a button or a widget and this is another a button or a widget and this is another okay so these three are our widgets so if you want to put it like this uh, in a vertical form uh, sorry in a horizontal form so you need to use a row and let me draw something like this this is our column so you need to use column uh, if you want to put your ui uh, items or widgets uh, in the uh, vertical form okay so let's understand it by code so open up your android studio and create a new project i will simply type stateless and i will name it my app okay and here i will add a material app and add a home scaffold scaffold fr rows and columns and simply add a center widget here and first of all uh, we will run this app okay guys as you can see here now we have our application running so first of all we need to add a child of this center take uh, so, sorry center widget so type child and we will add a row here okay a row widget and inside this row widget we need to add children uh, it uh, accept children because we can add multiple widgets in inside the, our row or column so simply type children and this is as you can see here this is an array so first of all i need to add a text widget here so the text widget will be something like uh, coding list okay and i will save it and as you can see here we have our text widget and after this i will add an elevated button okay elevated button and uh, i will simply remove this i will add a curly braces here and in child i will copy this text widget because we can also add a text widget here is a button text so i will simply click me okay now as you can see here we have a text widget and we have a button and this is a line horizontally okay so because we are using a row and this is a row as you can see here so to add some space uh, between these widgets so the first thing is uh, we can add a size box and we will assign a width okay width of 20 pixel and okay let me add the comma here and as you can see here now we have a little space and we can also assign a padding to our row uh, if you don't know about padding so you can watch my previous video okay and uh, here i will just copy this sized box okay and uh, i will add comma here and Uh, let me add another text so I will simply copy this text widget and I will add it and I will simply type it to subscribe okay okay now we have three widgets so we need to centralize this so first of all we will add a property of a row which is main axis alignment and simply type main access alignment dot center and we will save it so as you can see here all our widget is center now okay and we can also add a cross axis alignment 
and the cross axis alignment will be cross axis cross axis alignment dot sunt and you hit save so what is the main axis alignment the main axis alignment is, is uh, like uh, this horizontally and the cross axis in the uh, form of row this is the cross axis okay so uh, now if i change uh, my row widget to column so you will uh, notice the changes here if i change it to column and if I hit save, so as you can see here, now our views are vertically aligned. Okay, so we can also use these property. These two properties are same in the rows and column, and also the children property. So we can use column and rows uh, to put our uh, UI or our widgets in uh, uh, horizontally or vertically. So that's it for this video guys and if you like this video please uh, share this video with your friends and also uh, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bell notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos